the question is true about ace inhibitors are all except ace inhibitor stands for acetylcholine angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor so the angiotensin converting enzyme what exactly happens is this enzyme helps in converting angiotensinogen to angiotensin angiotensin 1 and from there to angiotensin 2 okay so this particular enzyme what it does is it helps in contraction of the blood vessels and as it causes contraction of the blood vessels your blood pressure increases therefore if you end up inhibiting the converting enzyme there will be no production of angiotensin 1 as well as angiotensin 2 and as a result of that there will be no contraction of the blood vessels and because of that you will not have any you will not have any uh, blood blood pressure rise okay now with all drugs that we use there is going to be some form of side effect or some adverse effect that is going to happen with each of them okay one of the most important side effects of ace inhibitors is that they help in increasing the release of bradykinin and this is a very significant side effect of ace inhibitors that because they increase the uh, secretion of bradykinin what exactly happens is bradykinin acts on the smooth muscle walls of the bronchioles and it causes constriction as a result the airway spaces decrease in size and the patient is constantly coughing so the dry cough dry unproductive cough is one of the most important adverse effects of ace inhibitors so if you have constriction of your bronchioles asthma already causes constriction of bronchioles in such situation if your patient is taking ace inhibitors it can actually cause uh some form of it is going to increase the bradykinin level and as a result of that the airway is going to be compromised and it may precipitate another asthmatic attack which is going to be much more difficult to treat and that is the reason option number 1 is true okay second is lacks postural hypotension this is again a true statement postural hypotension is a very common side effect of alpha blockers especially your uh phenoxybenzamine those medicines all of them biohimbin all of these very typically cause alpha 1 as well as alpha 2 blockers they very typically cause postural hypotension and that is the most common side effect of these medicines so this is also a true statement it does not affect the quality of life this is again a true statement because the side effects of ace inhibitors are much more stronger than the side effects of arbs your angiotensinogen receptor blockers are angiotensin receptor blockers are actually much more effective as compared to ace because the side effects of ace arbs are much lesser that is why according to the hypertension guidelines the medicines that are used for the hypertension guidelines these days they prefer using arbs over ace inhibitors because they help in improving the quality of life our cardio selective beta blockers also are one of the most important drugs that help in improving the life of the patient and that is why option number 4 is also true that brings us to option number 3 which is the false statement it decreases potassium concentration this is wrong it actually increases the potassium concentration so in order to remember the side effects of ace inhibitors this is one of the most important ways to remember captopril is a drug which is uh available captopril is a drug which is belongs to the ace inhibitor class of drugs and in that you can remember this as the most effective way now one more important thing that you need to remember is all ace inhibitors are available as pro drugs okay except captopril so all of these actually undergo biotransformation in the body and get form their active metabolite so the side effects of captopril are cough angioedema pregnancy problems taste changes others like as such as rash and fatigue proteinuria renal insufficiency increased potassium and lower blood pressure okay so these are the important side effects of ace inhibitors and this is one of the easiest ways to remember it